All right, welcome to part 23. Um, again, before we start, subscribe, like the video um, so that the channel grows and, and um, so that more videos like this can be created. Okay, so uh, in the last one, we, uh, we created the, uh, we set up the backend for the favoriting system. We got the favorites table and also the, um, what do you call that? API, <laughs> API controller is set up as well. And in this one, we're gonna hook it up so that uh, this clicking thing actually does something. Um, so the first, um, the first thing we have to take account for is uh, the fact that uh, when the user is logged out, right now we're not logged in, right? The, there's really nothing to favorite since um, how is a user who's not registered or, or logged in going to favorite something? There's really nothing to store or nor uh, where to store. So when the user is logged out, and when we click this, instead of uh, actually favoriting or trying to favorite uh, this thing, uh, we want to mm, we want to show the 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 register and login uh, model, kind of like real the real Airbnb right now. In this Airbnb, in the real Airbnb, I'm not logged in. So when I click this heart, little heart button, the uh, login or sign up uh, model shows up. So let's get that working first. The way we're gonna do that is in our little heart SVG icon here, I'm gonna add a data attribute called user logged in. And we're gonna get the use the device helper method called user signed in. And if I'm not signed in, this will be false. And if I'm signed in, this will be true. And, and in our, our favorites controller, um, I'm going to say if if um, this dot element dot data set um, user is logged in is false. I want this to uh, click this button right here, this user auth link button, because that's this is a sign up and the login link up here. And um, clicking on this will get the model to, to pop up. So this is a little bit hackyish way of doing it, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's just a little pet project, right? Uh, so we're gonna say document dot document dot get no, create selector. I'm gonna say data header target, and we're gonna say user auth link, and we're gonna click this. We're also going to return because if the user is not logged in, there's no point in going to this part of um, this, the, the function. So we'll just do this and we'll say, ah, gotta start the server. And you can see that once I'm not logged in, um, since I'm not logged in, this model pops up. And nothing changes uh, to the uh, to the heart color. However, if I'm logged in, uh, this, maybe it, maybe doing this whole thing was a mistake. Maybe okay. Now I'm logged in. If I'm logged in and now I click this, the model doesn't show up, and we get the little little heart um, sign. So I'm gonna log out first. No, actually, I'm, go I'm gonna log in. What am I doing? I wanna be logged in. And here, I'm gonna say, if, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna set this up first. I'm gonna say, if the, if the um, property isn't favorited, I want to favorite it, and to do that, I need um, 
I need a few things. I need the data user ID, current user ID like this. I'm using a safe navigator here in case the user isn't logged in. I don't want the app to blow up. If the user is not logged in, I want the property ID as well here. Okay. And in here, what I want to do is I want to get Axios. Import Axios like this. And with Axios, I want to, should probably pull up the documentation. I want to make a post request. To the favorite URL. I want to say API API favorites path, and I want to say post it to this dot API, no, this dot data set dot your favorites URL like this and the parameters will be user ID which will be this dot data set dot user ID and the property ID which will be this dot data set dot property ID right yeah and When it's successful, do this. Right, before we try it, right now we don't have any favorites in our database, but now if we click this, we still don't have favorites because something something broke. <laughs> Cannot read properties of undefined favorite URL. What, did, what does that mean? This data set favorite URL. Ah, this dot element dot data set. And we still don't have it, and that's because quest fail with status code 422. Bad request, Axios error. I think we have to um, pass in a header, actually. Let me copy that from here because it took us a while to figure out too. So we have to pass in this header, accept application JSON so that it's an actual API request. All right, how does that work? Ah, okay, got it. We'll say params We'll also say headers right here. We'll pass in this and hopefully um, This will get it to work. Okay, there's um, an extra unnecessary something. I'm 
don't know where. Hold on. Ah, forgot a colon here. All right. Reload, and now if we click this, still doesn't work. Something, something's not right. Post, favorite URL, params, user ID, property ID. Ah. Can't verify CSRF token authenticity. So this is this is um something we have to uh, take into account uh, when we do um, when we set up APIs in Rails, um, and we just have to skip a section. I don't remember what we have to type. Ah, we have to say protect from forgery in our favorites API. this actually do we have this for the user by emails controller because I don't remember no because we're not creating anything okay uh, yeah I think um, now if we reload everything is working now we have we don't have a favorite something something broke create all right let's see what's wrong here Can't verify CSRF token authenticity and unauthorized. Ah, okay. No, we don't. We don't need this authenticate user. Yeah, we don't need that. Um, technically, uh, the way you should authenticate is via API keys. Um. I don't really want to get into that in this specific app, so we'll just we'll just do it this way. Uh, but yeah, something's broken again. Why is it so um, challenging? Uh, let's see. If we click that says user must exist property must exist unper unpermitted parameters All right, let's see the parameters that's coming in params user id headers ah okay i see um let me look at the uh, axios again and post request. Okay. So maybe we don't need this headers part. And maybe we just need the user ID and the property ID. If we do that, now we get an unknown format. But I wonder if we put in the headers right after it, this will work. Hold on, Axios post request header. I want to figure out how to set headers. D 
data post headers ah, okay so we have to do headers like this like this and now everything works hold on yep now everything works okay so this is for um this is for favoriting the uh, uh, a property. Now for unfavoriting a property, let's do that as well. In here, we'll say axis dot delete. I think it should be pretty much the same thing. So here we'll say data unfavorite URL and that would be API favorite path uh, if a user favorited properties include property no favorite path favorite hold on user favorites find by a property property this will break yeah and this is only if user favorited properties includes property be current user There we go. And when we reload the page, what we want is we want this field to be, um, we want this to be red if if it's been favorited and this gray color if it hasn't been favorited so the way we do that is we'll say um, current user we'll also have to do this I have to name guard it if current user is uh, favorited properties include this current property then we want to return red as the color if not this gray color hex variable there we go all right now once we click on this, we want to um, we want to unfavorite this, and the way we do that is in our favorites controller. We'll say axis delete this dot element dot data set dot um, oh 
Hold on, no, we don't need that. We'll say... No, we'll have that for now. We'll refactor this in the next video. I have some ideas. Uh, we'll say... Unfavorite URL. We'll have to pass in headers here as well. Say uh, we'll pass in the ID. Which should be the uh, favorite ID. Like this. Then If we do that, we should be able to unfavor things, but it's not working. Let's see. Let's see what's happening. Unpermitted parameters. Favorites. Yeah, I think it's trying to create it. Hold on. Data favorited. But it has been favorited. Favorited. Ah. Say current user. Favorites. Find by. Property. Property. Exists. Our exist present. We'll say where exist. With that, we should be able to unfavor things. No, it's not working. Unknown formats. Okay, all these um like different methods seems to have they seem to have um like different syntax just to pay the like different ways of um passing in headers and, and stuff, which is really annoying. Like, I don't know why they don't have just consistent APIs. Delete. Okay, so so like this. That should work, technically. And OK, that deleted it. There you go. And there's a few bugs here, but, but we'll take care of that. OK. All right, so we got the basic uh, favoriting system working. There, there are a few bugs, and there's also a lot of um, refactoring opportunities in our um, stimulus controller and, and various other things. So um, 
I want to end this video right here and in the next video we'll cover how to make this better and prettier and more easier to follow. Um, and I think that would be a pretty good video to, to do and, and a pretty good topic to cover. So um, if you've been uh, keeping along, thank you for uh, watching. And um, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and, and uh, stay tuned for the rest of the series.